Well, good morning, y'all. How y'all are this morning? It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since about 2, 2.30. Went to bed early last night. I knew I, I sh shouldn't because I'd be up early, but man, I was sleepy. I'm sitting here nodding off. Some nights I can stay up to, you know, 12, 1 o'clock. Other nights, hell, yeah, by 8 o'clock, I'm going to go to bed, especially if I don't get my nap. <laughs> I got to have me my 3 o'clock nap every day. So, but that's just the way I am. That's the way I was, I've done everything for years and years being a trucker. You know, I'll never, you know, my sleeping schedule is so damn haywire that sleeping during the day and sleeping during the night, and you never, you know, you slept when you had a chance and six hours about all you got. And, you know, the law said you had to have 10 and that you only got six because you was behind schedule and you had to make up time and all this bullshit. Anyway, uh, I went to, uh, I got paid yesterday. I went into town, paid my electric bill. Now, I got, I got my heaters turned down just as low as I can get them without shutting them off. And a lot of times I won't even turn them on in, in my bedroom on. And in the summertime, my electric bill is only like forty-one dollars because I don't have air conditioning, I don't have central air, so all I run is a little fan. And nine times out of ten, I won't run that during the day because this place is pretty, uh, you know, it stays pretty cool in the summertime. So sometimes at night I'd run it. So my bill was around $41. Well, as it got colder and got colder and got colder, especially when I had to turn my, my heater on, there's a cold snap, I had to turn it on. And I had it turned on just a click past on. You know, if, if I click it down any further, I'll click it off. And I just forgot about it. <clears throat> well, every month, my bill gets a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. You know, the colder it gets outside, the more it works. So I I would hate to see what it'd be like if I had this same thing turned up. You know, my bill went from 41 to 71 to 100 and some, and, and uh, 170 some, and the last bill was 190 some, and and uh, <clears throat> so I'm fixing to, you know, uh, I'm not going to be cold. You know, so I'll just have to deal with that. You know, winter don't last forever. And plus I'm going to go down and, and apply for this uh They got an assistance that, that you can get here in Colorado with your utility bills seeing your citizens can get. So and you know I don't I don't like I don't like to go and, and sign up for all this bullshit it, you know, the government offers, you know. I I just don't like taking handouts, but uh you know social security it's I work for that. And you never know, they'll all take that shit away from me any day now. And then I'll, you know, I'll be really in a hurt. But uh, everybody I talk to, man, well, go down and get this. Go down. You can qualify for this. Go down. No, man, I, you know, I don't need that shit, you know. That's for people that's, that really needs it. But <clears throat> when you're on a fixed income, you know, it's... Uh, Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, and, and uh, this eating situation, I'm gonna have to. I might need some help help on that two hundred dollars a month. I you know I, I can't afford that shit, so uh, I might go apply for that. And 
Got my damn cable bill. Man, that's that's another bullshit. They got me caught in between pay cycles and with late fees and everything. The bill's only supposed to be like seventy some dollars a month, seventy eight dollars a month. And uh, you know, last last month I paid them one hundred and twenty five dollars. And so this month they want one hundred and sixty one dollars, and that's for two months. So I can't afford that shit every month. You know, one hundred and some dollars for cable for for just the internet. It's two months because they got me caught in between pay cycles. So if I can't get that worked out on my, my YouTube videos, it'll all be short and sweet. <clears throat> I can still go down to McDonald's and get on their Wi-Fi, but <clears throat> excuse me, man, I got I got it. It's, uh, congestion in my throat. I can't cough it up. But anyway, uh, I, I've made so many of these videos this morning, I forget what I've said and what I ain't said. So, anyway, I gotta go in town today. Uh, go back to Wally World and, and uh, get my med thing straightened out. You know, like I said, they gave me three boxes of spree, but when they're only supposed to give me one. So go take that and take that damn book back. You know, I ain't gonna read that crap. I don't know why in the hell I bought it. I don't even like to read. Go by the sheriff's office and see if they got some kind of literature I can get from them. Maybe a pamphlet on what all I got, you know, how to, what to study for my concealed carry license. You know, I get a concealed carry, I ain't gonna. You know, I ain't no fool with that open carry. You know, now this is just me, and this is a, this is a hot controversy. And I watch these damn videos of these guys, you know, walking down the street with their AK-47 strung on their backs, and and come on, people, the only reason they do that shit is so they can the cops will stop them so they can make their little videos about their rights. Now I know the Second Amendment rights and all that kind of shit and I believe in it strongly. But you know you look on YouTube and you got these people they going through these like border checks and you know the cops doing their job you know they they need to see the information because <clears throat> let me see La, I ain't gonna give it to you. What's your name? I ain't gonna give it to you. You know, just being complete assholes. And, you know, it's, it's, I understand why they're doing it, you know. I really do. I understand the, the, why they're doing it. But, you know, to me, they're, they're, it's just making matters worse instead of better. I mean, they're they're just causing a bunch of flack that they don't need to, and especially with this open carry crap. Now you can you can open carry, you can take a sidearm and, and walk down the street in an open carry state. Ain't nobody gonna say shit to you. But, <clears throat> but come on now, you go walking down the street with an AK forty seven or a, a Whatever them damn assault rifles are called, uh, you know, I'm not into that kind of stuff. So, I, uh, AK 47s and, and some 15s or what, whatever, AR 15s. Anyway, you got walking down the street with that shit strapped on your back. Hell, I'd call the damn cops thinking, what the hell's going on, man? They got a guy with a freaking AK 47 out here, you know. And I'm, I'm all for the damn uh, Second Amendment rights. But come on now, that's bullshit. 
you know, they're uh, they're just they're just making things worse instead of better. I mean, because even people that agree with it, if you see somebody walking down your street with an AK-47 strapped on your back, you're gonna think something's going down, man. You don't know whether this is a damn gang banger or what the hell's going on. But that's just me. You know, and I like I say, that's a hot topic, and I'm sure a lot of people's gonna burn my damn comment box up over that, and I don't give a shit. But that's just the way I look at it. Now, do I, do, is the way I look, look at it right? Probably not. I don't know. Hell, I don't know, but that's the way I see it. And this is what all is all about. You know, you can agree with me, you can disagree with me. It don't make shit to me. You know, this is America. Everybody's got the right to their opinions. You know. So anyway, uh, I got to go in town and, and get all this shit squared away. You know, take Wally World back to their damn meds. Because uh, I, I don't want to rip nobody off. And, you know, uh, and I'm sure eventually I'd have to pay for it, but, uh, you know, she gave me three boxes and we should have been, uh, and she only charged me for one. So I got to take that back, get that squared away and take this damn book I got here and take it back to Water World and get my money back out, off it. Can't go by the cable company today because they're only open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I gotta wait till tomorrow to do that. So, uh, that's what I got up for today. So, look, I know I bored y'all enough. Uh, so, y'all, y'all take care and, and try to stay warm. Uh, God bless, love y'all. Bye-bye.